Greetings fellow mathematicians. Welcome to our Learning Place or Teaching Place website where you will find all you need to teach and learn mathematics from kindergarten to year six with deep understanding. This is one of a series of videos that is looking at the research behind the pedagogy and the curriculum on a learning place, a teaching place. This research comes from Blair, Jacob and Wills. Now it talks about the ways that we have to think, explicitly think, when we are learning and teaching mathematics. There is additive thinking, algebraic thinking and multiplicative thinking. So let's start with algebraic. Algebraic thinking sounds hard. It sounds like it's going to hurt your brain. But we think algebraically as human beings all the time. All algebraic thinking means is that you're looking for patterns and relationships. Now we look for patterns and relationships in everything that we ever see. And in mathematics it's doing that explicitly. Looking for patterns when you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing and so on. Looking for relationships between the concepts of maths that we're learning. Now as um, Blair talks about, we do that as soon as, and Sawyer talks about, we do that as soon as kids start learning. As soon as we start learning as people, we are thinking algebraically. So what about additive thinking? Additive thinking means thinking in terms of addition and subtraction. Now this is the, the way that children think until they're about seven. Then as Jacob and Willis talks about, we need to then change to thinking multiplicatively. Multiplicatively means we are thinking in terms of multiplication and division. So let's think about some ways that this is happening in our curriculum. From year three onwards, children think multiplicatively. They think additively about addition and subtraction, but they think multiplicatively about multiplication, division, fractions and place value. So let's have a look at additive thinking for multiplication and division. Additive in year one and two means they skip or rhythmic counting. And they say that when they have three times two it means they have two three times or they have three two times. Now skip and rhythmic counting is additive because we are continually adding the same number. In year three multiplication becomes multiplicative as we know that multiplying by a number greater than one makes a number a number of times bigger. A number of times bigger. Division by a number greater than one makes a number a number of times smaller. Now this allows them in year five and six to understand that division is simply multiplication by a fraction. So let's see what this means. I'm going to skip count by tens. I've, I'm rich, I've got $10. You're richer, you've got $20 plus 10. You're richer, you've got $30 plus 10. Plus 10, $40. Plus 10, $50. Plus 10, $60. So do you feel very rich? You've got $60. Would you like to feel richer? You would? Let's multiply. This time we're going to multiply by 10. So I'm still rich, I've still got $10. You're richer, you've got 10 times 10, $100. Times 10, $1,000. Times 10, $10,000. Times 10, $100,000 times 10 a million dollars. Which way made us get bigger faster? Which way is more powerful? Adding or multiplying? This is the difference between seeing multiplication and division additively or multiplicatively. And we have to teach that explicitly and children have to learn that explicitly from year three onwards. What about place value? Place value is additive in year one and year two. 
because we are adding the ones and the tens together to make the amount. Now that's a concept that a lot of kids miss. They see say 14 as four ones, one ten. But they don't get the concept that we're actually adding the four ones to the one ten to make 14. So it's additive in year one and year two. From year three onwards, it becomes what it always is, but they learn about it multiplicatively. This means that we are multiplying the ones by 10 to get tens. We are multiplying the tens by 10 to get 100. We are multiplying 100 by 10 to get 1000. So we are repeatedly multiplying by 10 and so dividing by 10 as we get the values of the columns to the left and the right. Now this understanding in year three is vital for in year four for understanding decimals. Because if we've been dividing whole numbers by 10, we just keep dividing by 10 as we get our decimals. Now what about fractions? Fractions additively means that we are adding, for example, a quarter and another quarter makes a half. An eighth plus an eighth makes a quarter that kind of thing. That's additive thinking about fractions. Multiplicative thinking about fractions means that a quarter is half as big as a half. A quarter is half of a half. Now in stage one, in year one, children do this. Year one and year two, children do this with, with material. They continue to do that with more and more fractions until by the time they're in five and six, they can see these relationships, relational understanding. An eighth is half of a quarter, and an eighth is quarter of a half. Then when we start to realize that division is multiplication by a fraction, we can see that that's commutative. Half of a quarter is the same as quarter of a half. half times a quarter is the same as a quarter times a half. And we're looking at multiplying by a fraction then makes a number a number of times smaller. So enjoy the research and enjoy applying this using the strategies and the teaching plans and the pedagogy that's on a Learning Place, a Teaching Place website.